Bang on your feet. Just wow. one cop wanted yeah. this. And this is scary again. Oh, and you hear the thud. Going for the high kick. It's cut off by Overeem, and he puts him back to the mat. Overeem quickly reacting to the roundhouse of Crow Cop, and they're back on the mat. And I mean, this is a sledgehammer coming down right now. Yeah, man. That's the hammer. Crow Cop was first on my list. If there's anybody else, come for it, and I'll fight you too. I am the number one of Dream, and I will show you next time again. Thank you very much. Who fought today? Alistair, listen, all this hugging and shit is not it. K1, stand up, fight. We'll knock out. feeling is that he has no respect for MMA fighters and uh, kick his ass K1 wins and then I'm gonna kick his ass again and then I'm gonna If that is what he says, then he has to beat me December uh, 31. A lot of bad blood between them. They have not been short of words. Of course, Bada hurry through down the gauntlet here at Dream 6 when he issued a challenge to every mixed martial artist. He said, enough of this hunting and kissing, SHIT. Fight at Dynamite under my rules. He particularly called out Alistair Overeem. Overeem answered the challenge and Bada refusing to touch gloves. Censoring with Alistair Overy. There is nothing. You're inside. Here we go. But a hurry. And Alistair Overy. I got this one. I mean, this is unbelievable. How do you explain Dynamite, 2009? Yeah, Dynamite was a fucked up situation, man. Yeah? Yeah. When we signed for the first K1 fight, we agreed on two fights. Well, you're aware yes. of that. And uh, the second fight was going to be an MMA fight. Never materialized. Why? Well, because Bada didn't want to do it. He was knocked out on the first fight and he was like, I'm not going to fight you on MMA because I know I'm going to lose and I want to focus on uh, kickboxing. I, I don't like excuses, you know, for, for, for losses. Uh, when you lose, you lose because you choose to fight and uh, you know what the consequence can be. And I remember Alistair over him uh, back in his days. I was like, this guy cannot fight. This, he's not a kickboxer. He can't. I was like, okay, you know, Mike, this is an easy opponent. Just, let, just, just do it. And uh, went back again to Japan and stepped in the ring. After that fight, I made a, a stupid choice, you know, to, to take that fight, but I took it. You know, the whole world was on body, you know, I was the big. Terrible guy, everybody hated, I disappointed people. K1 uh, should throw me out. And, you know, talking about you don't get your money, we give you extra, uh, you have to pay us. And I had all these things happening. And what would that be a problem for Buddy, do you think, having gained weight? We saw him before when we, he lifted up his shirt, he's very ripped, he's put on a lot of muscle. Why do you think that would be a problem for him? He's gonna get tired. He'll blow out quickly? I think so, yes. He's going to be, he wanted to be a little bit like me, which is not going to work because he's not that big and I think he's going to get tired. He's expecting if he puts on more size, you won't be able to throw him around as easily or move him around as easily as he did at Dynamite. Well, without talking too much smack, I think he did. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you.
for joining us for the official drawing of the Fields K1 World Grand Prix 2009. You'll be staged at the Yokohama Arena on December 5. We have the eight finest fighters on the planet. I've been really focusing on myself, on my training, my preparation going into this fight. Uh, everything went perfect, so I'm 100%. And, uh, I'll be knowing what to do this in my fifth. Alistair is a strong fighter, you know. He's, he's not a strong fighter, he has a strong body. But you know, my, 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 my biggest fault, uh, my, biggest, my biggest mistake that I made in this fight is that I underestimate him. But in, uh, in the tournament, uh, there's a different body, in a different shape, and uh, in a different state of mind. And I can assure you, I will not give up. I do believe I'm going to be the one. I think he's uh, his and my style won't, it won't match for him. I think my style is stronger. Of course, it would be very good, you know, if I meet him in the in the quarterfinals, in the in the second round. It would be it would be great. So that's that's also what I hope for, you know. I challenge any of these fighters, any K1 fighter, to come step in the in the octagon or the ring with me. I'm gonna give him two to three minutes, and I'll finish them. One more thing. Uh, you may have been, I'm done with my friend Buddy already declined the MMA fight with me. So I'm just waiting for any of you other fighters to step up. MMA fight, you're always welcome. Thanks very much. Uh, please, if you'd like to respond. I had a fight with uh, Alistair Overeem, like everybody knew. Uh, he won that fight. It's uh, strange. Uh, for us as kickboxers, that this guy uh, wins from two strong guys in the K1. He did a good job, so uh, good thing for him. <laughs> but uh, if he gets through the first fight against Texera then I promise that he won't make it two until three minutes in the kickboxing ring with me this time. Oh!